Welcome to Springer's Adventures. Frank here. Just thought I'd share with you some items that we came across and was able to save from going to the landfill today. Uh, as you know with us, we're always uh, about the uh, thrill of the hunt, looking for old vintage items. A lot of the stuff that we always come across uh, is uh, by no stretch of the imagination in any great shape. Uh, always needs uh, some elbow grease to make it look good or try to save it. And anytime we could save something or repurpose it or use it, well, I find that feel that's just always a win-win situation. So uh, come check out the items that we got. All right, so out of that haul of stuff that you've seen in the back of the truck, I venture to say we probably was able to save about 50% of it. Half of the stuff was just either totally wasted or garbage and just completely trashed out. Uh, so out of 50% of that that we was able to, to save, uh, probably 25% of that uh, was able to clean up and uh, we'll be donating to the uh, uh, local uh, areas here in town uh, to use for somebody else so they could hopefully be able to use it. Patches. I always look for old patches and stuff like that. I always collect old patches. This one was kind of cute there. Uh, it says, I may be old, but I still get hot. Not quite sure if the uh, gentleman I had that was referring to his car getting hot. Or was it him? Who knows? Albums. Albums are always a good thing to find. Uh, I did find some uh, albums. Uh, the Who, Arlo Guthrie, Hart, Ike and Tina Turner. Uh, always in the old albums. This was pretty neat. This is probably even a little older. I would say this was probably from the, maybe the 50s. I uh, have to do some research on that. This was for mothballs. I guess you would put your mothballs in there when you put it in your closet. I remember growing up as a kid, uh, mom and dad always had uh, mothballs in the closet. Disney, you never go wrong with any Disney items. Every time you find any Disney items, always try to pick them up. A uh, little tin there. Also, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, we're from the Florida area here, so this was from the Magic Kingdom down in Florida. Uh, this was actually the uh, books that you got with uh, your coupons in there when you go on to go on different rides and stuff. I thought it was pretty uh, remarkable. This was a child's ticket book, $4.75. I wonder if they'll let me into Disney with that anymore. A couple pocket knives. Pocket knives are always good. They're great things to sell at yard sales and swap meets. People are always looking for old pocket knives. These are a couple interesting things. These are old straight razors. Uh, this one was really, uh, has some like ornate decorative trim on the top and the bottom of it. And inlaid with some green like jadeite type material. Uh, this one says hand forged from the Vulcan Schmidt Company, uh, Soligen, Germany. I mean, it's got a little bit of pitting on it and everything like that, but the blade seems to be in pretty nice shape. I don't see any uh, major nicks or anything in there. This other one here was uh, from the M. Jung, New York, made in Germany, uh, number 80. This one was in really nice shape. Uh, the handle is not quite as ornate as the other one, but the blade was in super nice shape. I don't know. This one's barely used, if you used at all. Uh, no nicks whatsoever. Very little pitting or staining on the blade. On this M Jung one, it actually even came with the uh, box. We actually found it inside the box. So it was in the box there and everything. Uh, I would venture to say this has to be probably from the 40s, 50s. I believe this is a sharpening stone for that as well. Really unique item here. This was a, a low and brow. This is, I lit it up, I plugged it in. Uh, everybody remembers low and out rear. This is the uh, low and brow lion. Uh, along with an uh, empty bottle there. It all lights up for display. Really nice it's in, into a barware or something like that. This was really nice. Uh, this was a vintage Harley-Davidson's woman's tank top. 
This was made in USA. This is an older one. This is in really nice shape, very clean, not worn out, not stretched out by any means. So this is really nice. Got some vintage Christmas items here. Looks like we got some indoor sets of wiring and outside set. I don't know if these were ever used or not. They seem like they were still wrapped up. Probably been sitting around for a while. They even got the little uh, paper tags on there and tell them that they were UL tested back in the day. Obviously some light bulbs to go along with those lights. The last thing I have here is a color wheel. Uh, this is from Holly Time. It was still in the original box. It was all in pieces. Uh, you can see, you see it on the beginning of the video there. I actually did put it together. Uh, everything was there. We cleaned it all up. And uh, I'm going to plug it in for you real quick and show you what it looks like. So uh, you'd had that. I don't know if anybody remembers or not. We actually have a lot of vintage Christmas items. Uh, my wife really likes to go out at Christmas time. We have one of the old aluminum uh, trees. And you would put that down to the base of it. And as it would obviously rotate around the different colors as the wheel spins around. And it reflects off the silver tree. Uh, really nice. We've actually been looking for one of those for quite some time. I was uh, just, we were totally... Uh, Totally pleased we could find that, and it's always great when we can find something for ourselves. Uh, that pretty much sums it up for the day. Like I said, you know, we was able to keep probably about half of what we found, uh, and out of that half of what we found, probably about half of that is uh, going to be donated, going to one of the local uh, churches here in town, uh, to their thrift store. And then, uh, of course, we obviously threw a, quite a bit of stuff away that was just damaged and could not use. And then the uh, last of it is uh, stuff we either sell or keep for ourselves. So again, thanks again. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, go down there, hit the share button, give me the thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, hope you liked it. If you have anything you want to say, leave it in the comments below. Until the next time, we'll see you out on the road.